Today I want to go over a common question that a lot of duck hunters have and that's how many decoys should I use? Now there's a lot of variables that come into play. Every situation is different. But I want to just go over a few things that I take into consideration, a few general rules that I tend to follow when trying to determine how many decoys I'm going to use on any given day. I think all of us as hunters tend to go through phases of what we like to do you know i've went through phases where we for all season we only use like 12 decoys i've went through other phases where we use tons every time there's a time and place for every type of decoy spread i believe Now when I'm planning to go duck hunting, the first thing I ask myself is what kind of wind am I gonna have? If you want a absolute rule in duck hunting, the, one of the most absolute ones I've ever found is that you need motion in your decoys. You need to match your decoy spread to your motion. So what's that mean? Well, if you've only got one jerk rig, you're not gonna make 100 decoys look very realistic. You're gonna make six to 12 look realistic. On the other hand, if the wind's blowing 20 miles an hour, you can make as many decoys as you have look realistic. Uh, it just makes such a huge difference as far as making your decoys look real. I'm sure I've had one or two, but I can never think of a time where we had good success with a bunch of decoys and absolutely no wind, where it was just dead calm and there, and there was just pieces of plastic floating out there. The ducks can just tell that something's weird about that. And we've even tried putting out three or four jerk rigs, two or three pulsators, just getting as much, you know, making our as much manual movement as we can make, and it just never can match what the wind can do. So generally, I never use a big spread unless I've got the wind to support it. I tend to go smaller. So that's the first consideration that I usually think about. Now the second thing that I usually take into account because I hunt public land is what can I carry? And this comes into play on private too. I mean, if you can't pull up right next to the hole with a trailer full of decoys, it's gonna be hard to carry 15 dozen decoys. I don't care how you do it. That's a, a big consideration what we do because we're typically walking a long ways. If we're walking a mile, obviously we're not gonna be carrying 10 dozen decoys that far. So that's gonna limit our spread. Another huge consideration that I'm typically thinking about is are we hunting on the X or are we trying to traffic birds? Are we trying to pull birds from a long ways? There's no doubt about it. Big spreads have a larger footprint. You can see them from a lot further away. And we've tested this a lot of times. I mean, 100 decoys is going to run traffic typically a lot better than 12. Uh, there's rule, like, like I said, there's exceptions to every rule, but generally, uh, if we're trying to get ducks attention from a long ways or geese for that matter we're going to have a huge spread now when i'm on the x especially if i'm on like a smaller x like a pond or or something that's fairly small i'm going to run less decoys just because the ducks are already coming i don't have to pull them in there you can only mess things up if the ducks are already coming so i tend to try to stay on the conservative side of things when I'm in a spot the ducks have been coming to and I know they're gonna come to. Also, later in the season when hunting the X, a lot of times we don't even carry any decoys. I mean, I know here in Arkansas where pressure's pretty high, ducks get really decoy shy. I mean, they won't even land on live ducks at the end of the season. I've seen it time and time again. There'll be 20, 30 live ducks sitting out there and new ducks will land 30 or 40 yards off of them and swim to them because they've been shot at so much. With that said, I have seen a few times, and this is rare, but I have seen it, where we were hunting at X and there had been a ton of ducks sitting there and we, we came and hunted with only, you know, 24, 30 decoys when there had been hundreds sitting there. And early we did good, but it, it seemed as later through the day, uh, the ducks would just come over and take one look and leave. It's like they knew that what had been sitting there was not sitting there. I've seen that a few different times and it's even in some of our videos. But those times are fewer than the other. Uh, typically if I'm on the X, I'm going to run a smaller spread. So on top of all that, I'll say this. The majority of my duck hunt career has been done over 18 decoys or less with one spinner or, and one jerk rig. That's what we've carried probably 60%, 70% out of thousands of hunts. 
and it's been very successful. With that in mind, over the past few years, I've really started trying to carry as many decoys as I can get away with. I've just seen the pulling power of it. You'd be amazed at what 30 or 40 more decoys than what you normally carry will do. I've, I've We've had a lot of good success with bigger spreads the past few years. And so my general rule that I try to follow now for me and my style is I try to carry as many as that the wind will allow me, as many as I can comfortably carry, unless there's some reason why I shouldn't, like if I'm hunting a small area, a small X. Now, as far as how I actually put out my decoys, like as far as spread formations, you can check out this video right here, and it's the three common strategies that I use almost every day. Um, and it's brought us a lot of success over the years. You can also check out this playlist at the bottom and check out some of my other tips. Thanks for watching today, and I'll catch you next time right here on Chasing Green.